Noam sent me an email. Trudy, I'm hearing people talking about something called Game of Thrones and how it's an allegory for the rise of the far right in modern day Europe. Because you're probably the world's foremost cultural analyst right now, please give us your take. You're right there, Noam. I'm sure I am. Except I'd never heard of this Game of Thrones. But after doing ten minutes of in-depth research whilst cleaning my potato ricer earlier, or was it my rice potato -er? It turns out it's actually a TV programme. The game itself involves various tribes fighting to win as many ceremonial chairs as they can, which they store in their primitive tribal dwellings. There's a lot of death and misery, because as we all know, people in grass houses shouldn't stow thrones. You don't get this kind of cutting-edge cultural analysis anywhere else, do you? I watched an episode. Well... I say that, but it seemed to last upwards of 15 minutes and, well, those coupons don't exactly cut themselves out, do they? It's set in Westeros and Essos and, actually, I don't give a toss. It's basically a tits and swords show. What? I can't say that. OK. It's basically a tits and dragons show. Great. If you like The Hobbit, folk music and masturbation, then you'll probably like Game of Thrones. And of course it's an allegory. An allegory for how to make truly excruciating television for people who think that Tolkien wrote literature. But at least he never committed perjury. And talking of Geoffrey Archer, See you next Tuesday, and remember, keep it light! If you've been affected by any of the issues in this programme, well, I'm afraid real life's rather more complicated than childish fantasy shows would have you believe.